what was he running with Ibrahimovic? So that was in the game, obviously PSG, and, and again, you know, because you were what were you doing, big well, fucking goals? Well, I had to mark him. So Zlatan's about six or four, and he about he's eighteen. Monster, so he's he? a big unit, and and he's handy with it. I think he says he's karate and all karate that. Expert. You wouldn't want to dust up with him. Like he's he's a big unit, and I've only seen about four centre forwards in my lifetime who actually target the centre half. Usually in my world, the centre half tries to bully the centre forward and kick him out the game. But every now and again, you get like a Luis Suarez or an Alan Shearer or a Duncan Ferguson who actually goes at the start of the game looking for the centre half to bully him. Well, we're playing, we're second in France and the um, Qatar money's just come into PSG the year I turn up. So you've got Thiago Silva, Zlatan, Motta, you know, all of the, the big hitters. Is Beckham there? Beckham came, yeah, Beckham came. In, um, all the big hitters are coming mm -hmm. and it wasn't them, but like they've got this incredible yeah, uh, spend in, in the last you know 12 months and Marseille are the historic club who's trying to keep pace with them and Leon there was three of us Saint Etienne and Leon us were going at it but we were close to them so I was banned for the first derby at the velodrome and Zlatan scored two fucking crackers and we drew 2-2 two -two. but I was in the stadium and I was I couldn't play I was playing in the Europa League but I was banned for the game and then as the season went they were about four or five points ahead of us but we had to play them in the cup Quarter final and in the league in the same week. So we're playing them in the cup on the Wednesday and it, the, the league on the Sunday and the cup on the uh, Wednesday. But that was the if, if they won, they were going, I think, eight or nine points clear of us with seven games to go. And if they beat us in the cup, obviously we were out of the cup. So our season pretty much came down to that week. So we played them on the Sunday and at their place and played fucking great. And they ended up scoring a, a spawny goal. And I think they beat us either 2 0 or 2 1. But we were right in the game, good account of ourselves. But they beat us. And that was the league pretty much. It was, we, were at, we, we were then focusing on finishing second rather than winning the title. It was like a six pointer. But then we had to play them on the Wednesday in the cup. But we had to play the same starting 11 virtually. And they made about eight changes, you know what I mean? Nine changes. And Beckham was one of them who came in. So in the first game in the league, um, Zlatan had gone and targeted Nicholas Nkulu, who was a great centre half, Cameroonian boy. But he just he, there was Sully Diawara and Nkulu, and Sully was a bit of a warrior, and Nico was the ball player, and Zlatan just pulled right onto him and just gone fucking he's getting it, and just started roughing him up. So from every goal kick, then I then get pulled down because he's dusting Nkulu. So I come the front screen then, so, I, so I'm like, listen, I'll fucking front screen him and stop him bullying our centre half. So I'm now front screening him and I'm just standing on his toes, pinching him. And he's massive compared to me. And every time he put his hands on me, I was diving on the floor and going, ah! And the ref kept giving a free kick and it was fucking doing his head in. So he, in the end, he's lost his shit with me because I've won about four free kicks off him now. And he's turned to me and gone, you fucking fanny, you fucking pussy. So he's, so I'm like, so I've, I know I've got him. So I'm laughing at him going, fuck off, you fucking dickhead. So he's going, I thought you were meant to be a fucking English. He, tough guy, he was saying, you're a fucking pussy, he was saying to me, right? So I've gone, shut up, you, you fucking big nose cunt. So I've just gone, fuck off, big nose. So we're just ding-donging like this, right? But it's like, it's like laughing. But he's, no one's ever called him a big nose cunt, clearly, because he fucking... He was shocked that, it, that anyone had the audacity to say it to him because he was the king of Superstar. France at the time. He was the king. I was like, fuck off, you fucking big nose cunt. I was going, you might be boss of footy, but your fucking nose is massive. So, and for a big ego maniac like that, his teammates started laughing at him, you know, like a few, like, and, and his head went. So he, you can see his argument. Now, completely unbeknown to me, they, they ended up beating us in the game. At the end of the game, the game had been on French, like, BBC or ITV and they zoomed in in the midst of the game stopping they zoomed in and captured that like I didn't know that had happened so when I come off we'd lost the game but my status within the Marseille fan base and with the football fan base in France I, I, they just loved me because they, they didn't like Zlatan and they just seen someone taking him on who was smaller than him and it just endeared me to them. Do you know what I mean? I didn't know it. I didn't even know it was happening. I was just like, fuck you. I've never taken a backward step from anyone. Never mind you, you fucking big nose Swedish guns. So I ain't going to start now. And as I say, it, it just grew this arms and legs to the point where I go back to Marseille. Now I was there two weeks ago uh, to see some pals. 
and people in the street walk past, kids and going, hey, big no, like it's just nuts. They don't even remember a fucking game of played with mm -hmm. them, do you know what I mean? But they remember I saw him on. And it's sad really, because you know, you want to be remembered for your footy and your playing, but also, it, you know. Uh, but that's what you're known for as well. You just, I mean, to be remembered, you know, that people fucking remember yet is, you know,